Our priorities today in the school are focused on four major areas of societal need, energy, environment, health, and security. Technological innovations are going to be very important in fields like biofuels and solar energy. If these are going to become viable alternatives to fossil fuels in producing energy. Uh, Princeton Engineering is very heavily involved in clean technologies in general, in areas like green buildings and green information technology. And these are fields that we will continue to move into more aggressively in the coming years. The School of Engineering already has substantial research programs in the areas of human health. Uh, for example, in, in problems such as the use of nanoparticles for the treatment and diagnosis of disease or in novel treatments for diabetes. Princeton Engineering also has substantial strengths in the field of security. Society has to be able to make decisions in the face of risk. Risk of hurricanes or earthquakes or tsunamis or even terrorist events. And engineering principles can be used to uh, make optimal decisions in the uh, face of such risks. But also information security, security and privacy on the internet or security of our uh, health records or security and electronic voting. There are two things that I remember as being particularly important uh, from my days as a graduate student in Princeton School of Engineering. One of these is the substantial intellectual freedom that I enjoyed to explore things that were of interest to me, even outside of my own department in, in physics or in mathematics. And this intellectual freedom is a hallmark of Princeton School of Engineering even today. Another thing that I remember is the emphasis on fundamentals. Even though my field, which is electrical engineering, has changed enormously over the intervening 30 years, I've been able to maintain an active research program at the, at the front edge of that field uh, all that time but because I had a good grounding in the fundamentals of the field. I expect that the School of Engineering's boundaries, both physical and intellectual, will have expanded greatly beyond where they are even today. So if we're able to make wise investments in the near term, I think we'll see explosive growth in areas like biological engineering, uh, in engineering uh, contributions to energy, environment, and security. Students will become increasingly involved, for example, with the Woodrow Wilson School because there are hardly any technologies that don't have major policy issues with them. And likewise, there are hardly any major policy issue that doesn't have some technological uh, dimension, such as climate change. Students will also become more international. We, we already have students going to many parts of the world, and I hope that uh, every Princeton engineer will be a world citizen. You know, Princeton has a large engineering school relative to the size of the university. So this gives us a unique opportunity and even an obligation to help define what a liberal arts education will look like in the future. I expect there will be seamless integration between engineering and the rest of the campus. Technological literacy will play the same role that, say, economics does today in defining a liberal education.